Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to integrate 9x squared times y with respect to x from negative y to y. So we have a single integral, yet we have two variables. So let's go ahead and work through it. So when we integrate this, we pretty much treat the y as a constant. So we just integrate with respect to x and we just leave the y as is. So when you're integrating 9x squared y, you just use the power rule on x squared. So you would add one to the exponent. So you just get x cubed over three. So this is, I'm gonna write the y first, nine y. And then when you integrate the x, it's x cubed, and then you divide by that number as well, so three. And then we're going from negative y, actually let me be really specific here. We're going from negative y to y, but it's important to emphasize what we're replacing. So x is equal to negative y and then x is equal to y. Really helps to write this down because that way you don't mess up, you know, because if you just put negative y, it's just, it's, it's, just, it, it's better. <laughs> so this goes into this three times. So this is 3y x cubed, and we're going from x equals negative y to x equals y. So you plug in the top one first. So this is equal to 3y, so plugging in y for the x will give us times y cubed, right? just using this one here, taking this, putting it here, minus 3y, and again taking this one and putting it here now, it's going to give us negative y cubed. So this is equal to, there's a 1 here, so this is 3y to the 4, this negative is just going to come out because it's an odd uh, exponent. So it'll be plus 3y to the 4. Because negative and negative is a positive, right? Negative y cubed will just be negative y cubed. That's negative 1 times y cubed. And then negative and negative will become positive. Now you can add these. Look at that. 6y to the 4. And that will be your final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.